Merry Christmas and a prosperous new year to all my subscribers and to you watching this video. I hope you are doing great and taking care of yourself in these hard times. Today on our menu family, we have Hausa Coco or Spice Millet. Okay, Spice Millet porridge and we are making this from scratch. So if you are interested and want to see how I'm going to make mine, please relax as I take you through my recipe. I have a similar video on my channel, but this one right here is a little bit twisted. So if you are interested, then we we'll last go nowhere and let's get started. Guys, I have with me my seasonings and I have black peppercorn, I have my grain of saline, I have my ginger, I have my cloves and I have my hot chili pepper. Okay, I also have corn dough. This time around, I'm adding corn dough. I also have my worst millet. Yes, guys, it's washed and cleaned. So we're going to blend all of these ingredients together and we'll continue from there. So I'm going to wash the seasonings and then come back and blend them. I'm back and they are nicely washed. So it's now time to put them in the blender. Guys, if you're enjoying this video so far, give your girl a big thumbs up. And if you are new, hey, you are warmly welcome. Kindly join our beautiful family by clicking on the red subscribe button. Also, click on the bell button to get more updates. So guys, since this blender is not that big enough, you're going to divide the millet into two. Now, I'm going to blend the corn dough together with one portion of the millet. And that's what I've just done. I'm adding water and I'm adding more water to be above the millet and then the corn dough. It's now time for us to blend it until it's so nice and smooth. We are trying to extract as much starch from this millet as possible. So make sure that you take your time to, to blend it so nice and smoothly in order to get all the starch out because we need the starch for this porridge. Okay? So it's now ready and it's time for us to transfer the millet into this bowl. And then we go ahead and blend the second portion. Mmm, it smells so good. I love the aroma. I love the smell of the ginger and all the other seasonings. This is going to be so good. Guys, so we are done blending all the millet. I need to wash the blender and then add a little bit of water to our millet. Now it's time for us to extract the starch from the residue or the chaff. And guys, I'm going to use chiffon cloth. You can as well use nutmeg bag or any other cloth that you think you can use to do this extraction. Okay? So take your time. Gently do this. Pour it nicely. Wow, smells so good. It's now time for us to gather the upper part of the chiffon cloth, bring it together, leaving the button part out or hanging. Grab the button part which contains the millet and then squeeze it out gently. That is it. Do this patiently, gently, so that you don't splash the water everywhere okay you're almost done squeezing the starch out and i cannot wait it smells so good i can't wait to to finish the whole porridge it's so so good i love the aroma you can throw the chaff away when you don't want it but within yourself when you know that you didn't do the proper extraction for the first time you can then keep the chaff or the residue and do the proper instruction the next time you are making millet porridge okay you then blend it nicely and smoothly to extract the rest of the starch from the millet now it's time for us to cover our millet because we've properly strained our millet you can do the straining for two or three times and you should be good okay so guys see you tomorrow morning so all we want to achieve is to separate the water from the starch, okay? So next morning we are back and we can see clearly that the water is up 
and then the starch is at the bottom. We are now going to separate the water from the starch. So we're going to pour the water into a bowl. And once doing this, do this carefully, gently, and patiently, okay? So that you don't let the starch sneak its way into the water. Definitely, there will be some that will sneak its way into the water, but it shouldn't be that much. So we are done transferring the water into the bowl, and this is the starch. It looks so nice and good. Now the water is on the cooker top. We're going to take some of the starch, and then when the water is done boiling or when we think that we have had enough of the boiling and then we will add the starch to the water you can use all the millet depending on the number of people that you are making the porridge for in my case i'll leave some for later i love the consistency and i love the aroma so now let's check on our water so far so good we are going to cover it up and let it boil. We are back and look at that. We are taking all these foamy substance from the top of the water and then we add our millet starch. Okay? This is obviously the, the millet starch that sneaks its way into the water. But as it is, we don't need it, so let's take it out. Okay, now I've turned off my cooker. Now using my waist, I'm going to pour the millet starch in the hot water and stir it in circular motion. Do this in order not to let your porridge become lumpy. I'm going to leave it for like 10 minutes more on the cooker top and let the heat be trapped in the porridge for it to cook like that. It's ready and guys, let's see the consistency. I love it. I love the thickness. It's not too thick and it's not too light. It's in between and it smells so aromatic. Finally, our spiced millet porridge is ready. Guys, it's time for tasting. So where are your cups? Where are your bowls? Thank you all for watching and I believe you are inspired. Try this recipe and bring me the feedback. You can serve your spiced millet porridge with kose, masa, buff food or puff puff, bread. But in this video today, I'm serving mine with buns. Guys, this buns is also amazing. The recipe is so scrumptious, so it's coming your way very soon on my channel. So if you are new and you want to see more of my appetizing recipes, don't forget to click on the red subscribe button. Click on the bell button to get more updates from me. Look at that. It's so filled up. It smells so good. It's so scrumptious. Thank you all for watching and enjoy this festive season with care. Stay safe. Stay blessed. I love you all. Until I see you all again in my next video, be good. Bye bye, yo. Subscribe to Mommy's channel and don't forget to um hit the like button.